Um, very good afternoon, everybody. Okay, let's get this out the road to begin with. Uh, financial disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor or an expert because I have never been to college to do that or on to university, never been into uh, any financial circles either. So you can, as it says in the description, um, if you put too much in to financial products and the market goes down, you can lose a lot of money. And if the market go up, well, you make a lot of money. But never spend more than you can afford is the key goal. As um, last night, I was on Binance and I had to do a quiz on there to gain proper access. So here's the thing. In this video, I'm going to speak to you about Web3. I'm going to speak to you about ERC20 tokens, which anybody can create. Um, I'm going to speak to you about BEP20, again, which any of you out there can do the same thing. It just means that you have to search in the right places to be able to do this. And part of this uh, is also to do with NFTs, which are non-fungible tokens pictures which have been digitalized and some of those pictures are in um, old graphical styles some of them are worth a lot of money and others are not and they can be found on binance they can be found on coinbase um coin market and um open sea polygon and these are just a snippet of the places where you can find web3 and eventually most of you who are connected to the web most of you will eventually get yourself a wallet, a digital wallet, whether it's a ledger, whether it's a trust wallet, a MetaMask. There are a lot of different ones out there. So here's the thing. Web3 is blockchain technology. It means that when you do something on coding or instructions as to what you are thinking about. I apologize for my mom's two birds. Um, really. Maybe that'll shut them up. But my apologies. Anyway, here's the thing. We have like grown from web 1.0, web 0.2, and we are now web 3. Web 3 is many things, game design, NFT, ERC20, BEP20, and others. And you can hide under a rock. You can 
but the likelihood is somebody will come along and turn that rock over so you are going to be exposed to it and the purpose of 32k tv inc first the purpose of that was brand new televisions top of the range with a holographic display without the need for these kind of glasses which these are prescription by the way but i'm going to give you a demonstration these glasses these glasses here you buy these at cinema and these glasses are to watch films on the big screen now you might be able to see that i'm going to try and adjust it there yeah right these glasses you buy if you haven't got glasses to watch feature films big budget movies at the pictures now with 32k tv inc there's two parts to it first part is the televisions themselves and them to them televisions will be designed by people who are in our universities here in the uk that is their task and once they've done that to there's a there's an issue with higher image quality and it's to do with pixels the pixels need to be tiny minute and to put into that tiny minute space like 16 individual grids is part of the issue where you enhance the image that's coming off the screen many of us have seen 8k in shops the problem with the 8k is they have to use a stick now that stick has content on it and that is the second part of the issue and that is the cameras themselves they need to be redesigned and what I mean by this is take a, a, one of the top end cameras and break it apart using the brightest minds in our universities. Once it's broken apart, enhance it, make it better so that what comes out as the stream is mind blown in the deeper blacks the contrast your colors which will be on screen and the size of the television on this is from 65 inch you can't do it lower unfortunately and what it is is this reinventing the tv now, I'm 56. When TVs first came to the United Kingdom, there was a company called Bed. And I think they were the first company, whether they were British or whether it was something else, I don't know. 
but bad TVs came out and then other manufacturers came along, but they were the first. And what this is doing, by doing this, is pushing the boundaries. Because if we don't push the boundaries, we don't know what we're capable of doing. And that's where the smartest people at universities come in. Because, like me, those smart people at universities, they've got a very inquisitive mind. And one of the things I want to do is to bring the display out. See, on the television that I have in the bedroom, it's 46 inch. It's 3D. But you have to wear glasses. And the glasses have a button to the side. It takes a lithium battery. And what it does is, like dark sunglasses, it flickers like that while you're watching the screen. Picture quality is fantastic. But that's what it does. I want to get rid of that. And I want to bring in new sound system. And that's just for the TVs. The cameras in the studios. They're going to cost money. I mean, that's where the coin comes in. And the coin is just for that. So... When that's sold on the markets, it gets to a certain point. I will message them down in London to say, can I list? And if that happens, brilliant. Now, I chose two locations. I chose Rushcliffe in Nottingham because I live here. And I chose Newcastle upon Tyne. I was born there. Simple, straight to the point. Two locations and jobs, factories to be built. And that's where the coin comes in. So that gives you an idea. And that's just one. The one I've just created, County Coin. In many different places in the United Kingdom, banks are closing. Everybody seems to be going online. And I've come across a lot of people who are very annoyed at that. I mean, mega annoyed. Then annoyed because they want to be able to go into a bank but they can't. You can't go into a bank if it's not there. And you can't speak to somebody face to face if the bank isn't there in the first place. You know, people say, oh, just do it online, do it on the app. People don't want to do that. They want to speak to a physical human being. So county coin, that's what that's for. And For those of you who are watching this, who think, and like most do, <clears throat> it's about becoming rich. No. You're at the wrong end of the, uh, the, uh, the argument. Wrong end. You see, being a, a lad born up in Newcastle upon Tyne, didn't have a gold spoon, didn't have a wooden spoon. My mum worked many jobs to bring us up. So the idea of riches and all the rest of it, no, it's not me. And those words 
or in the instructions on each. Because why? You know, you can only drive one car at a time. You know, you can only live in one house at a time. I hope you agree. Because, like I say, that's how it is. And with County Coin, there, in the instructions, there is a thing called Penny Coin. And Penny Coin is relating to ideas within the community where people want to, to do something. But they can't go to a bank because the bank ain't there. And, you know, they can't phone the bank because, like I say, nine times out of ten, a lot of people have come across option one, option two, option three. And by the time you get to the right option, you forgot what you were thinking about in the first place. It's solving problems. And that's the, that's the purpose of it. That is the purpose of doing an ARC 20 or doing a BAP 20. You're solving something and you're creating something at the same time, which you're going to find bonkers, but they're, they're done. Same as other things I was going to speak about in a minute. Now, because they're done, what I have to do, which I have to do on WX, is verify. That means a vote on the exchange. Once you get the vote, you get protection from the exchange. WX, there was an issue. The issue was you couldn't link your bank account. It was impossible because they, they changed the rule. They brought in a PAPE team bridge or PEP. And that if you didn't like link that, even though you, on a previous transaction you had linked it, it didn't remember. That was an issue. So that's why they, they're not live because you have to get it verified. And once you're verified, brilliant. That means the community, the exchange that you're on, accept you. They read your instructions and then they turn around and say, sounds good. Yes, good. And that's what it's all about. Now, the ones that I've done is, I've just spoke about 32K and County coin, solar travel, electric vehicles, which a lot of people from 2030 are going to have to get. And there's been a lot of talk about sticking the old uh, charger in the side of the car. Well, this goes beyond that takes it away and it uses yet again the brightest minds from our universities and the thing is this it isn't just cars it's bikes and it's other vehicles as well so you can spread it out. And with each one, what I was looking at 
was a nominal wage as a founder. Higher through one of the many agencies for hiring workers. The chief executive, uh, CTO, and other positions, which means between 2023 and 2030. That's a lot of people, which means for those down in London, taxes, pensions, it's all about things like those uh, health benefits, teeth, eyes, you name it, and setting up them schemes with the various different companies that do it. It's all about when you do certain ones like Dual Energy Inc. and you're generating electricity, that that and the payments from National Grid go to really good things, but not like what most people would think, i.e. big expensive race cars, sports cars, huge massive, you know, mansions and stuff like that. That just it's not it's not me. You know. So I won't do that. And I've already said in the instructions on each. What I would like is success. Each one will have a website and each one will have pages on the likes of Facebook, Instagram, but it all takes time. Because as you can see, it's just me here. And that's why first verified, second is set the price, sell it away. And then when that happens, when the, the cash flow comes in, say to the VCs who will come in like vultures, say to them, what I don't want is them to create a number of different wallets and then bounce from one wallet to the other to manipulate. I won't have that. And with, um, which one is it? Dual energy, again, split between here, Rushcliffe in Nottingham, Newcastle upon Tyne, and then maybe a year, two years, then it could be ruled out. County coin, which I mentioned, because they called it county coin, there's a lot of counties in the United Kingdom. And that's what it's all about. Each county. Uh, how many people would, would say about what I'm going to do with all the wages? Hmm. Probably invest. Probably. I have looked at things on different exchanges which the likes of Ben Armstrong 
uh, has spoken about. Um, Guy from Coinbase has spoken about. Ivan on tech, who has Morales, has spoken about. So going forward from 2023 to 2030, this is what's going to happen. You you can say, it, you know, oh, I don't like that. He's talking a load of, load of this and a load of that. These are real. These are real. And one, once you see what's being done, when you see diggers digging up a field and somebody standing there videoing it and it appears on my website, you can still disbelieve. But that's you. That's your opinion. I'll know. Different. And that's it. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> Caught you out there. Right. Part of Web3, okay, isn't just blockchain. Coding. Now, coding is extremely complex. But Python is available. Python's on my mobile phone. It's in the infant school on, mo on my mobile phone. But it's there. And as you all have turned around and said about the OpenSea collection of six NFTs, there's 20 to go on there and another 30 between my birthday next year and Christmas of that next year and these are some places you will know you will have been to they just changed they are different images of, like I say, something you will know. So the prices will be a lot lower. I understand the mistake I made. Teresa. Touch a bit expensive. I do. I understand that. So future collections on OpenSea will be cheaper and there will be something called the magic box the magic box the way it works is this a picture which you can see behind that picture is a website and it's going to work on a timer so you're buying the first and then the second comes out at a set time period behind that like, website would be Perhaps me playing guitar, me singing. So you're not just getting one thing. I'm going to go it. I'm going to expand it out. Now, once I have achieved that, those of you who are going to whinge, and I know there's going to be some of you, what you got to realise is this. 
the time it takes to do that. And that time is huge. So, right, let's have a look and see what we got. Oh, hello, Adam. I hope you are well, mate. I feel like I've been wrestling a bear. Uh, is this financial advice? No. I never went to university. Sorry. Uh, he has no interest in working or seeking help, unfortunately. Uh, there are grass-cutting jobs, all sorts he could do, but he has no interest from beer viking. Well, you see, the thing is, right, developing for Web3, whether you want to admit it or not, Web3 and developing does peer. So you've kind of like blown your feet off with a double barrel shotgun in that comment because the people down here are aware of the situation. The reason why they're aware is because I'm telling them. Why hide stuff, you know? Um, Adam, things have been absolutely horrific, mate. But I'm still here. How much are Web3 Web paying you? Well, then Web3 is not paying me anything. Because with um, WX, when I had things on wx you have two things unverified or you are verified now you can set stuff out as unverified that's true but there's no protection there's no protection from the community and you know what did your last Web3 peer slip say? That's a very good question. Maybe in, what, 2030? Ask me the same question. Because, so it isn't a job. Cool. Well, you know. <laughs> Look, here's the thing, right? Adam. Yeah, you're a, you're a YouTuber, you're a successful YouTuber. Am I correct, Adam? Now, you've done Newcastle Games Home and Away, yeah? And we did an interview outside of St. James's Park, East Corner. Now, here's the thing, right? Every YouTube channel does things their way, every single one. And the point is this, Adam has got popular, yeah? Adam is closing in on 50K, as I said in my video the other day. Adam should be about 100K. You know, he works hard and he deserves the success. Now, like I say, Web3 and development, ARC20, they're real things. And you can hide under a rock as much as you want. Type in a way. You can do that. But like I said at the beginning, somebody will come along and turn that rock over. And then your little hidey spot, it ain't there no more. So you will be exposed to what's happening in the, in the real world, whether you want to or not. And 
I said this to my mum, that these things were coming. And here's, a, here's an example for you, right? Two things. These are very, very old. I call them Stone Age, right? This, right? This here. It's a clamshell, yeah? Where you can actually physically touch the button and you can hear the button, yeah? It has a camera and the camera is crap. Because my sister would sometimes ring my mum and sometimes she'd do it like a bit, try and do a video call. So, now bear in mind, my mum was 78 years old. This was my mum's favourite phone. Again, clamshell. Where you can physically touch the buttons. What my sister did do she did try and get a smartphone just like that, yeah. And when I used to take her to different places, my sister would ring, or my other sister would ring. I'm driving, and this is what my mum would do. She'd, she'd do that with her phone. And I was like, oh, whoa, 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 what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Because you never know who's behind you when you're driving. And I used to turn and say, I can't do it. I can't touch it. But those are just two examples. Games. Next point. Games for mobile phones. Games for PCs. Where you have to learn coding. Oh, hiya, John. I hope you're well, mate. Yeah, John lives down Bristol. Where? My favourite game. Ooh. Um, Call of Duty. Uh, FIFA. Um, game I'm playing at the moment. Starfield. On the Xbox. Stunning game. Game I wouldn't want to be able to play. Is. Star Citizen. I want to be able to play that. The only downside is. This computer. This laptop. This Dell. Uh, Inspiron. 15. 3000. Uh, even though it's a. Uh, AMD Ryzen 5. The memory is not big enough. You need at least 32 gig. So this is just used for what I'm doing. Oh, yes. I, yeah, John, I will come down and visit you. You've got no issues at that. Once I get myself a car sorted out. When am I losing the goatee, Paul? I am thinking about doing that. Yeah, because it is absolutely... It, 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 it's like, I keep doing that. And like I say, with um, visiting, what I wanted to do was a lot more. But we're losing mum. Kind of kicked the chair from below us. And... Uh, it has taken time. But positives. The uh, the county coin is done. Uh, Jewel Energy Inc. is done. 32K is done. And um, others are coming. It, they just need to be verified with the exchange that they're going on, which is the reason why this video is here. And once that is done, um, 
they will hit the markets and I'll have somewhere new. That's the, the thing. Uh, what was that? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I mean, John, COVID, um, COVID stole me, mum, and um, she went into hospital because there was an an accident in the bedroom. My arm gave way, and uh, when my arm gave way. Nothing I could do about it. The pain was like um, an ice pick being shoved straight through my shoulder. Screamed as uh, mum fell. And uh, like I say, you know, these things happen. But, you know, I'm hosting a live stream soon. Give me a private... Yeah. No problem, John. I mean, yeah, that that was the intention at the at the start of the season, you know, to um, set up a podcast. Is it just me now? Me and the well, me and the two birds, and uh, people often comment about the two birds, but uh, yeah, it's my time to shine. And like as I've said to you all, with the the things I'm talking about in this live, they've already happened. It's just waiting to get approval. Once that approval's done, set the price, bang, they're away. And maybe two, maybe three years get in touch with uh, those down in London and then those down in London can look at all of the information the data and say yes or no and that's what it's all about yeah John I mean you're welcome. You know, the same as um, Adam Pearson as well. You're welcome to come on when I'm doing a, a podcast because you're a very nice man, you know. And, but some podcasts which I'm going to be doing will not be Newcastle United related. Some of them will be ideas which began here and I'll give you a little example just a small one and that is like so this A4 pad you know I have five a4 pads and what my brain tells us I write down and then I set to work to pull it together you know but um, that's how I do things well the thing is you know John I've missed being up at um, St James's and I've missed like being in in YouTube chat. I have, but from January to right now, you know, th there hasn't been any support from nobody, and I thought to myself, well, if, if nobody does. Like, you know, ask if you do any, you know, if you're well and stuff like that. They obviously don't, you know, don't care. 
So that's why I stopped and I just zeroed in on the ARC-20. It was what he called, it was moral because, like I said, John, um, you and a few other channels have rocketed up past me, you know, and um, there is a couple of people who've turned around and says, my channel should be higher, but it's not. So it may be because I speak about things they don't want to know about, you know, but like I said, <laughs> but um, to all of you, wherever you are, be careful when you're doing markets like exchanges. And do a little bit of due diligence of what you're going to be looking at. Is it long term or is it not? And look at like, is there instructions? Because if there's not, well, it may be that you lose the shirt off your back. So like I say, you just gotta be careful. And uh, what I've been lucky some of the trolls you have are really bad. Yes, they are, John. Yes, they are, mate. You're spot on there, mate. And since um, the first week in January, I've never known it to be so bad. And what they, like I said to, to them in... Is it yesterday or the day before? Maybe, maybe in Saturday. I said to them, when you're attacking, you're attacking a person at their lowest point. Because January um, was crippling. It was absolutely crippling. And as you notice, John, I don't go on to Twitter. There's nothing on Twitter. Because it's a cesspit. And um, it's now changed. It's now called X. But again, um, it's a cesspit. So I'm staying away from that. But um, oh, what happened in January? I lost the, uh, lost the use of um, a motorability car which I used to bring um, my brother's boys up to St. James's. You might have seen them a few times when I was up there. Um, young lads. And um, I used to take them up there to to watch the games. And uh, I always used to say when we, we came up the strawberry, right, I'm just going to head across to see the YouTubers, get me a pint, and as soon as I've spoken to the YouTubers, I will go across to the, the food bank to see Steve, and then I'll come in, and that's what I used to do, it was like clockwork, and, um, but there's certain people in YouTube corner, that it doesn't interest me no more. You know, that's the honest thing. Oh, I will do. Yeah, I mean, the the nephews, um, they worship Newcastle United. They truly do. And um, it's just now a case of uh, transport, getting the transport sorted out. Because I want, I wanted to do at the end of the last season, like I said, home and away. 
and many people this time round uh, criticised the um, what's that? There are two, two on on YouTube who who cover Newcastle United, and one of them had a person. Now you know yourself, John. As you're looking at chat, you can see a picture. He has the surprising bit. I said hello to the host and to the host's guest. And I'm looking and I'm thinking, that's my picture. I was looking at my picture. Put the name next to it. It wasn't. So I left. And like I say, the other person... Um, no, different reason for the other person, but as I say, um, I helped a lot of you by sharing, um, and it isn't a one way street, it's a two way street, it always has been, but anyway. That's all right, John, at the end of the day. No, John, at the end of the day. Look, the, the thing is, right, um, I'm the only person, as far as I know, I don't know of any other Newcastle United YouTube channel that covers football, that plays guitar, that... Um, does special days out and looks towards the future and Web3 and the mechanics of Web3 because it is complex. It's not just one thing, it's many things. And those who don't believe, they don't believe. Maybe straight in front of their face, and I still don't believe. <laughs> but you have an amazing, amazing day, John, and I will see you up at St James's Park. Come up and shake your hand, because, like I say, you're a brilliant chap. And to those other people, um, I might speak to them, but that'll be it. There'll be nothing more. As I say, but you have a wonderful day and uh, keep being you, John, because like I say, you're close to 6,000 and I'm not even at one k. So there you go, man. But have a beautiful day and stay you. Okay.